The funeral was today for a five-year-old boy who police say was strangled by his mother on Monday. His two-year-old sister, who was hurt in that very same attack, died last night. Irving police released a 911 call made by the mother, which hints now at a possible motive. Yeah, we're going to play portions of that 911 call, which many people will find disturbing. Fox 4's James Rose is live now in Irving with more on what Seika Akhtar told that 911 operator. James. Heather and Steve, the call lasted about 10 minutes, and throughout the call, Akhtar seemed very calm. In fact, a couple of times during that call, she asked, when are the police coming? Irving, I want... Hello? Hello? Yeah, I think my boat did. This disturbing 911 call made Monday evening by 30-year-old Saika Akhtar reveals a possible motive for the murders of her two children. Why did you do this? Both are autistic. I don't want my kids to be like that. They're both autistic? I don't want, I want normal kids. The tape also reveals Akhtar was determined to kill 5-year-old Zane and 2-year-old Fariel. Before she allegedly strangled them, she tried to poison them. First I tried to give them um, the bathroom cleaner. I put in their mouth, but they don't drink it. I want them to drink it. They don't drink it. So there's a wire near. So I just grab their neck and then I try so many times and then they are no more. Akhtar told the operator the children were lying on her bed. They were both blue and had no heartbeat. When the operator asked if she was feeling anything, she said no, nothing. In fact, the only thing that seemed to bother Akhtar was the bathroom cleaner that was still on her hands. What are you doing now? I wash my hands. You're washing your hands? Yeah. Why are you washing your hands? It is smelling too much because of bathroom cleaner. Farial, the two-year-old girl, died last night. Funeral services for five-year-old Zane were held today at Restland Cemetery in Dallas. Akhtar is currently here in the Irving Jail. She is awaiting transfer to the Dallas County Jail, where she will be arraigned on two counts of capital murder. Live at Irving Police Headquarters, James Rose, Fox 4 News.